Hey, Shalom. First, I'd like to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shah, Bahashim, Kakadash, Yahweh, who the world inwardly calls God, Yahweh Shah, who the world inwardly calls Jesus. I want to give a double honor. I want to give a double honor to the apostles of Great Millstone, who has taught me this truth. I want to give a peace and blessings to the I came across the four corners of the earth who teach this truth and risk their life to do so. It's going to be a quick video. Low in the videos, edifying, lonely. I can get something from this video. It's an article that the brother posted uh, in the chat. Um, I just want to make a real quick video on it um, because, indeed, it's prophecy, okay? And this is something that, you know, we look forward to. Now, you know, anytime we get message or anytime we get news of the American decline, you know, it's it's prophecy because this place has to, and we get excited, right? Because what? After this place, what comes? The kingdom, okay? Like it says in Daniel, okay? So after this rulership is over with because, yeah, you got NATO and the EU and all that, but... Once it's over with, all right, then the kingdom is going to be, and the kingdom is going to be here, okay? And then we'll begin, you know, to, to get to live, man, okay? You know, to actually enjoy life, to actually, you know, walk around with, <laughs> you know what I'm saying, with, with, with peace and the peace of mind. You know, here we got 26, 25, 24 Teenage men with gray hairs, you know what I mean? Teenage Israelite men and young mid-20s to late-20s Israelite men with gray hairs, man. You know what I mean? And, you know, it, it goes to show you that, hey, you know, it's, it's it, it, you get put through a lot of stress here, man, okay? Um, overthinking, you know, uh, worrying about certain different things, you know, uh, you know, whether it be a woman, whether it be you know, money, whether it be bills, whether it be family, whether it be just a whole lot of shit, you know, whether it be mental demons, you know, you fighting off the old man, rather, you know, it's just you go through a lot of shit, but scriptures say, you know, when you come to serve the Lord, prepare thy soul for temptation, you know, and that's exactly, you know, what what it is. And it, I mean, it's not a joking matter, it's serious, but, you know, you got a lot to keep from crying sometimes, you know, because indeed it's a beautiful walk, but it's going to test you. It's going to test you, okay? It says, get ready to see millions. The article title, it says, um, and brothers can go ahead and uh, read the article. Um, it's on Daily News. It says, get ready to see millions of Americans lose their jobs if Congress doesn't raise the debt ceiling in the next few days. But regardless if they raise the debt ceiling or not in the next few days, the place is still going to come to naught. The place is still going to fall. This place is still going to crumble, okay? Because shit, you know, raising the debt ceiling only what? Makes room for more debt. The more debt you have, the more of a decline you in. And America is, you know, so hey, it might raise, it might not raise. Either way, it's still prophet either way prophecy is still gonna come to pass, it's still gonna happen. And as a matter of fact, let's get this real quick. Let's go and grab this. This is Isaiah thirty one and one. It says, woe to them that go down to Egypt for help and stay on horses and trust in chariots because they are many. Now, the modern day Egypt is what? America. Okay. It says, and horsemen because they are very strong, but they look not unto the Holy One of Israel, neither seek the Lord Yahweh. Yeah. So guess what? You know, our people, right? Just like they did in Numbers 14, they looked to Egypt and wanted to run in captivity for help. But this, this is not your rest, scripture say. Let me grab that. Rest. This. Where is it at? Micah 2 and 10 right here. Arise ye and depart, for this is not your rest, because it is polluted. It shall destroy you even with a sore destruction. And what's more polluted than America? What's more polluted than the wicked people that rule America? Okay, it says, rise ye and depart, for this is not your rest, because it is polluted. It shall destroy you even with a sword destruction. And it has destroyed our people. Okay. So, but why, so, so why trust in it? You know, why trust in it? And you see, you know, the elders of our people have been fucking duped by America, have been, you know, have been just. Used and abused by American and people who who rule it. Okay, 
It's Isaiah 30 and 1. It says, What to the rebellious children, saith the Lord Yahweh, that take counsel, but not of me, and that cover without uh with a covering, but not of my spirit, that uh that they may ask sin to sin, that walk to go down into Egypt and have not acts at my mouth, to strengthen themselves and in, in the strength of Pharaoh and to trust in the shadow of Egypt. And this is what these people do, this is what our people do. They trust in the shadow of Egypt. Okay, because it's all they know. Homeborn slaves, Stockholm syndrome, don't want to know nothing else. That's why the scriptures say, what? You can't put old wine in the new bottles. That's why, you know, uh, the older man that's stuck in his ways ain't going to be able to get it. That's why how shy what? He brought forth a little child. You know, you got to become as a little child. You know, a little child of mine is what? A sponge. So when you come into this thing, you got to be want to soak up knowledge. Somebody who's stuck in their ways, they think they know it all already. Okay. Let me grab this and then I close the video out. Grind, oh, so I can grind, cease, boom. Right here, it's Ecclesiastes 12 and 3. It says, In a day when the keepers of the house shall tremble, and the strong men shall bow themselves, and the grinders cease because they are few, and those that look out of the windows be darkened, and the doors shall be shut in the streets. When the sound of the grinding is low, and he shall rise up at the voice of the bird, and all the daughters of music shall be brought low. Okay, so it's going to come a time when what? When the grinding is going to cease, where there's no work, there's no money, there's no bread, there's no food. Okay, there's none of that. Okay, as a matter of fact, let's grab this just to back that up. Second edge is 15. Second edge is 15. Uh, right here, this is second edge is 15. And 13, it says, They that till the ground shall mourn, for their seas shall fail through the blasting in hell, and with a fearful consolation. Woe to the world and them that dwell therein, for the sword and their destruction draweth nigh, and and one people shall stand up and fight against another, swords in their hands, for there, and swords in their hands, for there should be sedition among men in invading one another. They shall not regard their kings nor princes, and the course of their actions shall stand in their power. A man shall desire to go into a city and should not be able, for because of their pride, the city shall be troubled, the houses shall be destroyed, and men shall be afraid. Okay? It says, a man shall have no pity upon his neighbor, but shall destroy their houses with the sword and, sh and spoil their goods because of the lack of bread and for great tribulation. So the lack of bread, the lack of work, this is martial law that's going to happen, man. Okay, indeed, this martial law that's going to happen. So the more news we hear about America falling, we just understand that prophecy is coming out. Scripture is what? It tells you what happened, what's currently happening, and what's going to happen. Okay? It tells you what happened, what's currently happening, and what's going to happen. All right? That's why it's a living book. Okay? That's why it's a living book, man, and we follow it. You know? We believe in it. Okay? We follow it to a, you know, to, to the best of our, we follow the law of the commandments to the best of our, because what? You know, through the fear of the Lord, we persuade men, and we fear the Lord. Hebrews 10 and 30 is a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living power. Okay? You know, I believe that's Hebrews 10 and 30, Hebrews 10 and 31. Okay? So we understand the, the, the you know, we want to be on a good, on a right, on the good side of the Lord, man, the right side of the Lord. Okay? That's why we do these shows and go out to the highways and byways and teach and preach this word. Right? To bid the elected. Not only is it our job, but we got to, you know, we got to bid the elected marriage and work out our own salvation, man. Okay? With, you know, with fear and trembling, Right? And part of having that fear is doing this work. Okay, so with that, Lord, let me be those edifying. Lord, let me, I can got something from this video. I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh. Bahashim Yahweh Shah, Bahashim Rakakadash. I want to tell you, brothers, keep pushing on to the next. Shalom.